Hello, sorry it took me a little bit. Uh, I was looking for the mic. I couldn't find it. I haven't recorded in a while, so I didn't find the mic. But uh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, first thing, uh, your question was: is you ha you need to uh, input a string and a number and output them. This is what I understood. But I'm gonna um, go with you over it. Go over it uh, piece by piece. Always, uh, like, uh, divide your big problem into small pieces, easier, especially in programming. Don't think of the whole problem altogether. It's going to be hard. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean now. The principle uh, of the divide and conquer. Include. This is to include the library, Airvine. Uh, 32.inc and you're using visual I'm using text back it works on Windows it's free visual is, uh, when you use visual studio you have to do some tweakings some settings and it's explained exactly here getting started with Massim, getting started with uh, visual studio 15 or 17 and you have to go with each step here explained each step explained in detail you have to go through it and I'm sorry it's not showing but here you go one step and it's gonna take a while to set Visual Studio but if you downloaded the uh, text pad on Windows and the urban library and set it you're good it doesn't take that much time as visual and visual also might give you errors and you have to go and do all the process again so, uh, and the error will be for a wrong setting. I think it'll be ml something dot execute. You'll see error, an error ml dot execute. You can solve it from the if you have the error, just uh, do a, uh, a screenshot of what you got and send it to me. I think I can solve it. If, but in case we'll. We go and this is the Airvine website. I'm going to uh, keep airvine.com where you find uh, those. So now let's go to this include Airvine and in assembly we have a place for the data and place for the code. Where in data we have our variables, in the dot code we have will have our code our code so let's see uh, let's see can you see the line I'm gonna try to I'm trying to change the size of the text so you can see it better. Let's see, I didn't change it. References. Nope. Is it your tools? It should be configured preferences. Okay. What is text this is for? default font okay it's here let's see that include airvine 32 dot inc and then we have the dot data section and dot 
code and what is dot code and dot data uh, uh, those are what do we call them they're not instructions this is a library micros dot data and dot code are micros they're uh, not part of the instruction set but are included in the code go over those definitions good the data dot code then we have main process then we have exit main end process and end main this is how uh, a massive program or assembly program should look like and remember to save it as dot asm it's really important to save it as dot asm from assembly so now let's go first uh, over printing a string i want to print a string i want to define the string say string one i'll define it as byte meaning each character will have a byte then i'll say gate a better each character will be saved in one byte so how much is this in memory depending on how many i have 5 space 6 7 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there's a 0 16 bytes this will take 16 byte in memory then we add the 0 a h 0 d h And it's important to know why. And this is like the backslash in and line. And if you remember in C, C++, one of them is carriage return and the other is line feed. I forgot exactly which one. But what's 0AH? In assembly, if we have the, the H means hexa. This means hexa. Those are hexa numbers. If I had a 9 instead of the A, I don't use a 0. If we had a letter, let's say B, B is a hexa number, yeah? I have to put a 0. That's why we have the 0. That's why we have the H. So our numbers are what? A and D. A and D. We can change them. What's A? It's 10. What's D? A, B, C, D. 11, 12, 13, A is 10, uh, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13. So, that should be enough. I don't think we need this. So, either you put this or that. Uh, now, this is our string. So, we label it in memory string one and we save 16 bytes which are those characters now we go into the code part here this is the data part remember this is where i define my variables i define the string here now here what do i do first thing i need to let me do it this way move to edx what's edx you have to know the registers and those are in i'm not sure uh, if you're taking the same slides but in chapter 2 slide 16 but you'll find them in chapter 2 all the registers i have them explained in the lectures i forgot which which lecture but you have to we have eight general purpose registers we have what eip also and what was it eip and the flag registers two those are the 32 bits and we have six segment registers each is a, what 16 bit so you need to know what are those registers ecx edx uh, eax ebx why why do we use them before you start programming this is a really important thing and usually students don't pay attention to that so edx we're gonna have the index of uh, and now we say move edx offset of string one and what does this mean 
go get the address of string 1 which is going to be the address of this letter in memory this is going to say those give me the first byte this byte in memory what's the address of it that's offset of string 1 I move it to EDX I move it to EDX to know the address you can do move this to EAX do move to E a x and i'll move the edx which is the address and then do call write integer this will print you the address we don't want this i want to print the string so i moved the address to edx now all i do is call write string this is called a procedure call right string is a procedure those are in chapter 5 or 6 there's a table you need to know also those before you start programming this is the problem in assembly you need to know some stuff it's it's even the data some as at the end you have to know it before so it depends uh, who gives you instructions on those you need to know those things procedures chapter 5 or 6 this is table you need to know them and if you don't know them we can go here and if I'm trying just to show you every step and just print Irvine and it's gonna give you the first one Irvine library uh, library mass and health we go to the first one also and you're gonna see remember the micros I told you micros and here's the Erwan library and here's all the procedures and functions here's the dumb register print whatever in the registers here's where's the core right The core right string is here, but let me press on it. I can't get it to the screen. If you press on it, it will tell you. Write an alternate string to standard output. Call arguments. EDX points to string. Meaning, pointing what? Holds the address. Holds the address. Example, dot data, promote byte. This is the name of what? The string enter your name zero see here they put zero I'll tell you in a minute why is that move edx offset of mode core right string the same thing we did here's the code if you want to go to read string you'll find it well here and it will explain it also it'll give you also another example I'm gonna explain it to you if you want the integer right integer also it gives you an example I suggest uh, you go and try to read those and run the examples and see what they give you.